Well, our next guest has rubbed elbows in his own kitchen with some of Hollywood stars, such as Jasmine Guy, who starred as Whitley in the sitcom A Different World. Also made meals for athletes Ooh. like former basketball star Shaquille O'Neal. How did he fit in your kitchen? <laughs> He's almost as tall as you. Now, Jeff Robert Stark is in the Delmarva Life Kitchen rubbing elbows. Yes. With us. <laughs> and we are happy to have him here yes. with us today. Thank you. What I'm if, happy to be here. Thank you for having me, honestly. What are we making today? Today we're going to make an authentic Asian chicken salad. Oh, okay. So this we're going to start this. off by you telling us what ingredients we What's need. It? Okay, what is in it is obviously some chicken. Mm -hmm. um, we used a little bit of uh, Asian five spice, a little bit of sesame oil. We sauteed off the chicken with the magic of TV. Yeah. So we are right. now chicken ready to go. And as you can see here, you have the ingredients that's going in the salad, which is the shredded lettuce. Mm -hmm. We have some matchstick carrots. We have a little bit of diced red onion some fresh cilantro, and some black sesame seeds. Nice. Ooh, okay. And then for you, buddy, we're going to right. actually make the vinaigrette live today. Yes. And um, we have a little bit of white wine vinegar, Okay. a little bit of soy sauce, right. some fresh ginger powder, Okay. and some sugar. Okay. So, so he, he gets started making He can get started, yes, because we're actually we're going to need to make the vinaigrette first. So okay. if you want, you can just take a teaspoon, a tablespoon. I'm I got to measure it? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, what do I put in there? Vinegar? Uh, sugar first. Oh, sugar. Yes. Okay. Do two of those. Two of those? Yes. Yes. How close do I have it. to be? Yes, that was defeated the purpose of doing it. <laughs> All right. But it's good. So we got more than that. And then the same thing with the ginger. <laughs> same thing with the ginger. Yes. All right. I'll there you go. You got to be Scoop careful it. with the ginger. No, Jimmy. flat no. level. Yes. Because you okay. don't want to get that. See, he okay. doesn't want to do it my There way. you go, Jimmy. See, I, I just put it in the whole thing. Okay. So well, where'd you get this passion to cook? I didn't mean to hit no, you there. No, it's fine. <laughs> As you, you can see, I have the Maryland flag on. I'm originally from Baltimore, Maryland. I went to a culinary school here in Maryland. My grandmother actually, we used to go to my grandmother's house on the weekends and she would make the fabulous meals. And I go home with my mom and she couldn't cook so no, i would call what am I doing? just half and half um just half, how much both you all use of the same it? amount of Squeeze. each yes all of it yeah like you're making a long island iced tea <laughs> i've never yeah, had you long know island how to make, you to make a long island, island iced tea. Make a long island tea all right that's good to go good there? whisk that up okay. now while he's doing that um, busy, you can go ahead and get started on what you're doing but yes my grandmother was was the cook of the family and my mother really couldn't cook so when i would go back home for the week I would call my grandmother and say, how did you make everything that you made? <laughs> and she would talk to me over the phone. Yes, you're looking good. And see, what you wanted on that was the turn colors. You saw that turn colors? Yeah. So that's perfect with oh, that. So, so I did it right? You did it right. Can we can we mark this down somewhere? He actually did that did right. Do you want me to put you all this in there? Okay, okay. And then the carrots? Yes, please put the carrots okay. in. Well, so about, tell us about some of these celebrities you've cooked for. You yeah. know what? The magic and a little bit more, you're good. Okay. Um, as you know, I went to Atlanta to get a restaurant and the deal kind of fell through and I just went on a tenacious work ethic to get to the top and train myself up. Well, I want to hear about the celebrities, but please tell us real quick, you didn't just walk into fame and fortune, did no, you? No, not at all. Tell not, me real A little quick. bit more cilantro, sweetheart. Okay. We want this to taste good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's great. No, you're doing good. Uh, as you know, Napoleon Hill says your greatest success moment comes after your biggest disappointment. Yeah. Which is my favorite quote because that's what happened. When the deal fell through for me, I ended up staying in Atlanta, Georgia, right. and I went to work at uh, different temp services. And in that journey, in a six-year time frame, I worked at over 47 different establishments. Oh my gosh! I was 47. working yes, uh, McDonald's, KFC, Taco Bell, colleges, hospitals. I was working all these jobs part time. How do I, How much of this do I put? Um, just like a couple pinches. You don't okay. want a lot of that. A little bit more. Okay. Like that was. All right, we need pinch. to get this message. And then moving. some chickens going Jimmy's in. Hungry. Put the chicken okay. In. Yeah, but that's what happened, and, and I just ended up working so, my heart out, man. So your point is to tell other people you don't just walk in. Yeah, you don't walk in. It's not a microwavable success story. you got to yeah. put in some work, man, and I, I really want people to know that it, that it has, takes a little bit of work to get to the top as opposed to everybody just thinks that we're in 2000. Because yeah. you did it. Go ahead, pour that in, Jimmy. Oh, and just, while he's doing that, I'm going to let you know there are several ways you can right. get the shopping yes, list and instructions on how to make this recipe. You can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, Salisbury, Maryland, 21801. You can also go to delmarvalife.com or give us a call, 443-880-9116. Let us know you want the recipe for Asian chicken salad. Yes. All right, now. They don't let me toss salad anymore. Can you guess why? <laughs> it's time was, to taste. Yes, I'm gonna put just a little bit more. Now, ah. as you can see, this was really easy. If you notice, easy. one last thing is we'll put this on. I have it already laid out for you. We do. I, I'm so give we you each some get a plate of first, huh? Yes. Awesome. And okay. I have it. See, this is if you want to go with a little fancy, like you were saying, for the celebrities and the fine dining, I want to use right. a nice crystal triangle plate. Yeah. However, if we were doing a hand-passed hors d'oeuvre party and you're having some friends over or you're having friends over, 
and you can just make little petite oh, look at that. ones. So you can have this yeah. at a party. Grilled chicken is delicious. Everything together is yes. delicious. Yes, I knew. Wow. I knew you were going to like that. I knew it. So Ivana, <laughs> you right thank you. I told you I had a winner for you. She Robin, said, "Thank you, really you so good. much." Still ahead on Del Marble Life. <laughs> if you think your family's a little wacky at times, <laughs> wait till you meet the Millers. We're going to get a sneak peek at the new comedy series debuting tonight, right here on WBOC. Del Marble Life will be right back. <laughs>